So these days, the whole Amazon digital package is probably more confusing than a Russian dub of Twin Peaks after two pints of tequila. As far as tunes go, Amazon Prime subscribers can help themselves to the Prime Music Service, which offers up a rather skin-flinty catalogue of just two million tracks in all. But alternatively, Amazon these days also offers the Amazon Music Unlimited Service. Anyone can jump on this more premium offer and for a tenner a month, although if you are already a Prime member, then you will get a discount for your loyalty, so it's just eight quid a month instead. Now, Amazon Music Unlimited is vastly superior to Prime Music, offering a catalogue of 50 million tracks and counting, making it a proper full-on rival to the likes of Spotify. Now to see how it's improved and what's new, I've gone back to using Amazon Music Unlimited as my full-time streaming service for the past couple of weeks. So here is my updated 2019 review to see how it compares to Spotify and if it is indeed a true competitor. And don't forget for more on the latest to greatest tech to pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So first up, I do actually quite like the Music Unlimited app, which packs in most of the features that you'd expect with quite a smart and logical presentation, although unfortunately it isn't quite as deep in some areas as Spotify. Open up the app and from that main page you can jump straight back into your recently played albums as well as hunting down some new stuff to jam to. This is all set up in a similar way to Spotify, offering you recommendations based on your play history as well as genre playlists compiled by Amazon itself, and a lot of these are actually pretty bloody good. I've already discovered a fair few new bands this way. Using those bottom tabs, you can check out everything you've listened to lately or jump straight into the good stuff, your music catalogue. That's basically everything that you've saved and downloaded to your smartphone. Unlike Spotify, however, unfortunately you cannot follow artists from within the app to be alerted whenever they release a new single or an album. All you can do is simply save their albums or best songs so you can quickly find them and play them within your library. In fact, the artist pages here within Music Unlimited do feel rather sparse with no kind of bio or pics or anything like that. And in many cases, you get very few similar artist recommendations as well. I'm also not a fan of how each discography is presented well out of chronological order. This rather bizarre layout can make final and specific albums really annoyingly difficult, especially if a band has been around for decades. Still, the organisation of your saved albums is solid enough. You can browse your library by artist, album, songs, everything you'd expect, and also filter for the downloaded tracks alone when you don't want to drain your data allowance. And setting up and managing your playlist is also a piece of pie. And another area where I definitely cannot complain is the Amazon Music Unlimited catalogue, which as I mentioned before, contains over 50 million tracks. I therefore had absolutely no problem at all finding pretty much every single song that I searched for, even when scanning for some pretty obscure old stuff in pretty much every genre imaginable. Fancy some progressive alien deathcore? You got it, buddy. Live albums, musicals, soundtracks, even stand-up comedy, it's all here, and it's all available to download for offline consumption as well. And like Spotify, there are currently no limits on how much you can download, which is great news if you don't have a massive data allowance. One of the more unique features tucked away in the Music Unlimited app is that Alexa voice command support, courtesy of, of course, Amazon's Alexa AI. Of course, any device outfitted with a voice assistant will give you full hands-free control of your music, regardless of the service that you're streaming. And while Music Unlimited has Alexa support actually built into the app itself, the app does need to be open on your phone for it to actually listen. So there's no real benefit here for everyday use, certainly compared with a bit of Siri or Google Assistant action. Other plans besides the bog standard £10 a month effort are also available. So for instance, if you want to share your Amazon Music Unlimited with your inner circle of loved ones, you can sign up for a family plan that's 15 quid a month and it gives you access to six full accounts, each with their own personal library playlists and all of that shenanigans. Or if money's a bit tight, you could alternatively scale back to a £4 a month single device plan. And that's absolutely brilliant if you just want to listen to your Amazon Music Unlimited account on a single Echo speaker. So right there is my quick overview of Amazon Music Unlimited as we stroll our way through 2019. It's definitely a solid bit of competition for Spotify and well worth investing in, especially if you only want to play tracks through your Echo device at home. Unfortunately for now, Spotify does remain my favourite purely because of that deeper functionality. But what do you reckon? Are you tempted by Amazon Music Unlimited or maybe you're using it and you're either happy or dissatisfied with that service? Definitely let us know your thoughts down below in the comments. And don't forget to poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest techie stuff. Cheers everyone, love you.